Welcome to Take 5, where we've been taking five minutes or so, and we've been calling this series Metaphors for His Majesty, where we're looking at figures of speech that help us understand who the the biblical God that we follow is and um, connected to, I think, our everyday lives. We're going to do a really familiar uh, metaphor that sometimes it's so familiar we might not even think of it as a metaphor, but uh, obviously it certainly is. The Lord is my shepherd, Psalm 23. Okay, so let's state the obvious. The Lord isn't a literal shepherd. He's not walking around in a field somewhere with a crook in one hand and maybe headdress and chasing sheep all over the all over the place. Uh, but on the other hand, the metaphor uh, is very fitting. The Lord is our shepherd. Um, so I thought we know it so well. I thought I'd just take it apart for a couple of shows to try to understand what does this metaphor mean? How does it connect um, to our lives? And I don't know about you, and I don't know where you're watching this. I'm not very agrarian. I I live in a city. I enjoy the subway more than the tractor. (laughs) So I'll do my best to try to um, deal with this metaphor of a shepherd, even though I don't know shepherds very well. You know, you see them out in the field and they've got their sheep and the sheep are eating or wandering or whatever. And so I guess it has to do with, um, maybe I'm feeling I'm wandering a little bit. Maybe I need some direction. Maybe I need someone to lead me. Maybe I need some grass to eat. Figuratively, there's another metaphor. So here we go. Let's take this popular metaphor, the Lord is my shepherd, and pick it apart a little bit and see what we can we can do with it for our own lives and our own hearts today. The, so let's let's just, right off the bat, the Lord is my shepherd. Um, the Lord. So we're talking about God himself, the, the creator of the universe, the covenant God of Israel, the father of the Messiah, Jesus, who is our Lord. We're, that's who we're talking about, not just some cosmic reality. We're talking about the God of space and time, of salvation history. The Lord, next word, is my shepherd. The Lord is right now my shepherd. Not used to be, not one day will be, or I hope so, or when I feel like it. The Lord is my shepherd. Now, David, King David is writing this. So this is someone who is in a, a covenant relationship with this God through his own faith. So in order, for, in a sense, for that present tense to apply to any of us, the Lord has to be our shepherd through the, the faith process of believing, of resting, of trusting in his son Christ. So that's key. The Lord is, present tense, if you are a a follower of Christ, if you believe in that Lord, he is your shepherd right now, not yesterday or tomorrow, right now. The Lord is my shepherd. There's a a personal sense to that. Um, Not just the shepherd of the flock or the shepherd of the community, that too, the Lord is. I mean, it used to be really in vogue to say, uh, Jesus is my personal shepherd, uh, savior, right? And so we be, Christianity became this exclusive faith relationship between a person and their God and had nothing to do with the community. Uh, it doesn't mean that at all. Certainly he is the Lord of the flock, but also of you. The Lord is my, and then finally, shepherd. How does a shepherd tend his sheep? I wrote a few things down, sort of like a parent maybe, since I don't know agriculture very well. Maybe like a pastor. Uh, If if you've had good relationship with your pastor, you can identify that. A pastoral literally means a a shepherd or a a sheepfold. Um, The the problem with that, however, is we've all had not so good relationships with our parents or with our or pastors or others who are meant to care for us. The Lord is my shepherd. He is everything a good caregiver is, a good leader is, a good parent or pastor is, and much, much more. The Lord is my shepherd. And then I'll just end with this phrase, and we'll pick it up next time. I shall not want. I shall not be in want. I shall lack nothing that I need. 
uh, think on that for a, for a moment until next next Tuesday. The Lord is your shepherd, and when he truly is your shepherd, you don't lack. Okay, I'll see you next time as we continue Metaphors for His Majesty, The Lord is My Shepherd. See ya.